Ciao guys and welcome back. If you don't know me, I'm Luca. Thank you to join in the channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna explain you how to probably increase the resolution of your videos thanks to the super scale function in DaVinci Resolve Studio. Plus, I'm gonna explain you how you can use this feature to earn a little bit more money. Stay tuned. Well, that was good. This procedure is a little bit different than a drag and drop a full HD clip in a 4K timeline and then exporting the final project in 4K. If you are doing this, like I did until some time ago, you are doing something a little bit wrong because you are basically adapting a full HD resolution video in a 4K frame and doing that you are going to increase the size of the noise in your video. When you are going to upload on YouTube, the YouTube denoiser is going to detect that uh, big noise pattern and after the conversion in the YouTube server you are going to notice some weird artifacts going on in your video that you didn't notice before. And this is happening because we upscaled our video in a wrong way. To use this feature we will need YouTube <laughs> To use this feature we will need DaVinci Resolve Studio. The software itself is gonna cost around $300 and you're gonna get it for free with many black magic cameras. But if you think it's a little bit expensive, consider that basically you don't need to upgrade your camera anymore because uh, your camera uh, in a way is able to record 4K 60 frames per second thanks to this feature. So on one side we have to pay 300 euros for the license or you can buy a uh, 4000 euro camera. It's kind of easy. So in my opinion, it's really worth to buy the license of the software just for this uh, feature. A few weeks ago I went with my friends to do a photo shoot on the beach of uh, Bloemendal, a nice beach in the Netherlands, and uh, I filmed everything in uh, full HD. Ah, by the way, I'm trying to convince my friend Kelly to join YouTube. She's an amazing photographer using uh, film cameras and medium format cameras. And if you're curious to see how she works and what she's doing, write down in the comment below if you would like to see her on YouTube. I will let her read your messages. Let me show you some sample footage of the conversion from Full HD to 4K. In this comparison video you can see on the left the native Full HD video uh, on the right, you're gonna see the super scaled 4K resolution video. As you can see, the difference is quite noticeable. But now, let me explain how to use this super scale function. So, once we open DaVinci Resolve Studio, we create a 4K timeline, select the clips we wanna import in the timeline, we go to clip attributes, and all the way to the bottom, there is the super scale option. Regarding the sharpening and the denoiser, I always leave them to medium. Most of the time this is working pretty well for me, but if you are a little bit more serious in your color grading process, you can set everything to low and then go in the color management page and add some sharpening and denoise as you like. I know that this sounds too easy, but this is it. With these uh, few clicks, we can really improve the quality of our videos. And for example, if you don't own a 4K camera, but you're still working with video for your clients, now you can propose 4K packages for higher prices. Or if you are a wedding videographer, and uh, you made fantastic videos for your clients in the past in Full HD resolution, now you could contact them uh, proposing that you can uh, provide them an uh, increase in resolution of their videos so they can enjoy their beautiful wedding video in the modern 4K or 8K TVs. Uh, so this is a good way to earn some extra money uh, with a job that you already did in the past. I hope that this video is going to be helpful in your workflow and it's going to let you earn a little bit uh, extra money. And if you like the video, please like it and consider to subscribe to, to, subscribe to support the channel and uh, it will matter a lot for me. Plus, if you are really curious to see my development talking in front of the camera and uh, to see where my English will go at one point in the future, subscribing is a nice way to track my path. So thank you for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Yeah, I know, that was a little bit rushed. I have this problem that when I start to talk, I just want to finish as quick as possible because I don't feel really comfortable talking in front of the camera. I should actually put, uh, I don't know, like a polarizer filter so I can see myself and then maybe I can talk to myself. Maybe that can help. But this is it for today. Ciao!